Okay guys, garden update. Everything is looking so luxurious and delicious. Everything has gotten so much bigger. So today, I'm gonna transplant some stuff. There's too many bok choys in here. They look great. Something is eating them. Same thing with this kale. I'm gonna take two of them out. Some of the tomatoes and the broccoli because way more germinated than I thought would. I'm gonna use these water bottles because it's gonna rain for like the next three days. So I need to do this today. Okay, so we've successfully taken two bok choy plants that were in here and I put them in here. So we'll see what happens. I think they will continue to be all right for now. And if I need to, of course, I'll transplant some more. So far I've done some kale and some bok choy. My tomatoes are doing really well. I fear there are too many in here. 13. And I don't know what this is, but there's that as well. plants in here these I don't know what they are so I'm just gonna let them grow in here and I'm gonna do that to these other two as well and plant something okay so I forgot to time-lapse me doing the rest but this is what we got going so far I have the kale there I don't really know what that is, so I just put it in there just to see what's gonna happen. I've got tomatoes in that water bottle back there. And I transplanted these. I'm trying to like save these leggy broccoli in this one and in that one, so we'll see what happens. I put um more seeds in these. The habanero, the serrano, and um, there's another pepper plant down there, uh, and the bell pepper. Yeah, I put some more seeds, especially in these three small ones, because I have forgot to drill holes in the, I forgot to poke the holes out in the bottom, you can see one is poked, so I just went around and like, drilled some holes these were basically drowned so i don't know if the seeds are going to germinate so i put some more but i thought the same thing about the cayenne they had like drowned and i thought that they died well the pot was overflowing with water and i thought that they died but they didn't so that's why i just put some more seeds in those just to see what's happening i don't know if i showed you guys me putting this in here i can't remember but it's doing well don't forget to drill your holes in your pots i need to harvest because it's flowering already i do have some more like shoots in here so i'm okay to harvest it and i took out the other one well there's some back there but i'm just gonna leave them in there <laughs> um for now so oh can you see oh 
This is kind of hard to do with one hand. It's fine. Okay, I can't do this with one hand. This is my little broccolini harvest. Okay, this is the garden and it looks amazing. So I did some more research. So today I'm going to be companion planting some stuff. Look at the cilantro though, before I do that. Like, girl, what? Okay, so I think I am done for the day. If I find something else I want to do, obviously I'll come do it. Oh, beautiful, the sun's coming out. I put all the marigolds in the pots with plants that they will help protect and also that they will help to grow. I put the green onions with the cabbage and in this pot I took out the lavender because it died so I put a tomato basil and marigold in here tomatoes and marigold in there the two tomato plants I took the basil out of the cilantro I just planted some more cilantro in there and the plants that I transplanted are uh, doing well that I transplanted the other day. I put some marigolds with the asparagus. It is going to be very sunny and very hot starting on Monday. Today is Saturday. Continuing to learn um, because yeah, high key, have no idea what I'm doing. So I just, I just be doing stuff. I look on Pinterest and YouTube and I just be doing stuff so because it's my first time I don't want to spend like a crap ton of money so it's also helping to use up stuff around the house because these water bottles are coming in clutch and just random pots and stuff that we just had laying around the house and I'm really excited for everything to keep growing Okay, so I'm back in the garden from this morning. We found some seeds that we had misplaced a long time ago and they were in such an obvious place. That's okay. So, um, we had marigold seeds already. So these three are full of marigolds for the moment. High key might plant some more. That is another tomato plant. Um, what is this? That's watermelon. This is watermelon. Bush, watermelon or Bush baby watermelon. This is Swiss chard. And what else are we doing? Uh, tomato, super sweet, 100% hybrid. And now we're doing this tomato. So we have like five tomatoes. And then we're gonna do some parsley because we don't have parsley in the garden and parsley is also a really good companion plant. So that's just the update of what else we did today. Everything looks great. It's gonna be super hot and sunny this coming week. So we gotta be diligent about watering. Okay, we got an update. The Serrano pepper has sprouted and the jalapeno has sprouted 
and the potatoes have finally sprouted because i was about to dig these up and put onions in here but i think we're doing okay there and this is just an overview of everything everything's doing really well no habanero sprouts yet but everything i transplanted is doing well and these strawberries need to be that works.